Hello students and welcome to today's logical reasoning analysis. This analysis is with respect to the MH Law CET 3 years exam slot 1 which was held on 3rd August 2022. Now we are dealing with here the actual questions that were asked in the exam in slot 1. Before moving with the questions let's here focus on the batches that are launched by Maneuver. If you are preparing for MH Law CET, CLAT, SLAT, AILET, BHU Law, LSAT or for that matter any other exam, then we have classroom coaching at Mumbai with the centers at Dadar, Borivali and Vasai. Feel free to contact us at these numbers for the respective centers. Along with that, we also have live classes in which you will be getting ebooks. And in classroom coaching, you will be provided with the hard copies of books. Along with this, we will provide you the shortcuts to approach various problems. After the classes are over, you will be provided with the recorded videos in which you can go through the session completely. We will also arrange the doubt class for you. If you have any particular doubts, those will be get cleared in the doubt class. We will arrange topic test for you in the class. And after topic test, we will have full length mock test based on the complete syllabus. Once you join our class, we will make you a part of the WhatsApp group in which you will be provided with a mentor who will stay along with you till the final day of your exam and will guide you at every point. After this, we also provide you 10,000 plus questions. So then students, what are you waiting for? Please book your seat now by contacting at this number. You can also get more information by visiting at our website www.manuaedu.com slash law entrance. Now let's have a look into the questions that were asked into the exam. Now this question is related to the blood relation. A said the girl I met yesterday was the youngest daughter of the brother of my mother. So how is A related to the girl? Now see if we try to understand this question he's saying if this is A then A is saying brother of my mother so A's mother will be at this place and brother of my mother brother of A's mother will be placed here now this is brother and this is mother of A now the girl to whom A met yesterday was the youngest daughter of the brother that girl will be the youngest daughter so this is the tree diagram through which we can try to find the answer of the question. Now on the basis of this tree diagram, we can try to find the answer how is A related to A. So here we can clearly see if this is mother and this one is mother's brother. So this is A and this is B's brother's daughter. So naturally how is A related to that girl? So naturally we can find the answer that A will be the cousin. A will be the cousin. So that will be our answer, this daughter. So that is the answer for this question. Let's move on to the next one. Now here it is a quite simple question as compared government is to minister so class is to what? Now here we can just try to frame a relation between government and minister by connecting them with the word government consists of minister. So class will consist of what? So naturally the answer comes out to be class will come out class will consist of students so option C students is the answer this question is very easy actually now let's move on to the next one again the same question based on the same pattern newspaper is to press so cloth is to what now we'll try to build up the relation between newspaper and press now newspaper is printed in press newspaper is printed in press so cloth will be made where whether it will mill shop tailor or factory so you can say mill seems to be the complete answer because cloth will always be made in mill so option a mill with will, will be the answer now focus on this one if january 12 1980 was saturday which day of the week was on jan 12 1997 now see if I place here Jan 12, 1980, now this was given as Saturday. Now they have asked us which day will it be on Jan 12, 1997. So how to approach this question? 
Now first try to find out how many years are there from 1980 to 1997. Now we can say there are total 17 years. Total 17 years are there. So we know that total 17 years are there. So naturally some years will be leap. So total 17 days are there and some days will be leap years. So how many leap years will be there? Actually we can take for 70 days we can take 17 odd days. To make it very clear, if this, these are 17 odd days for 17 years, but this 17 will have certain leap years. So, how many leap years we can find? 17 by 4. That will be 4 fours are. So, quotient we are getting here 4. So, that means leap year will be 4 among this duration. But you see, 1980 is also the leap year. So, total leap years will be 4 plus 1, that will be 5. So we have 5 leap years. In the group of 17 days, we have 5 leap years. So we know that each year will add one extra day to the next year. So 17 years will add 17 days. But if we have leap year, so that leap year will again add 5 more days. So that will be 22 days. Now in 22 days, we know if divided by 7. So 7 3s and we get the remainder as 1. So if remainder is 1, we know that in 22 days, we have 1 odd day, 1 odd day. So instead of adding 22 days, we have to just add 1 odd day to find this day. So Saturday plus 1 day, that will be Sunday. Hence, Sunday will be the answer that on Jan 12, 1997, it was Sunday, it was Sunday. If you are clear with the concept of odd day, you will be easily able to find out the question, answer for this question. Now, now this again series is given comparatively easy. Now we try to develop the relation between all the first letters of the group and try to find what will come in place of question mark. Now see S to T, T to U and U to what? That is the question here. So if you add just one letter you will get t again in t if you add one letter you will get u so in u if you add one letter you will get v you will get v and in v if you add one letter you will get w this w is here now just focus on the second letter c e g so c to e you have to add plus two letters e to g again plus two letters you will get g and in G, if you add again two letters, so what you'll get? I, you'll get I. So after V, you will have I over here. And now if you focus on the last letter, this is D, this will be plus two. F again plus two, it will be H. So for getting this question mark third letter, what we have to do? We have to add again two in H. So that will be J. So this will be V I J. Answer will be v i j so three letters are there so relation will be plus one plus two and plus two that was the basic relation with which we have to proceed so answer will be v i j now here we have to find the odd man out now although the question seems to be a little bit complicated but if you dive deep into this then the things will start getting clear see this is a m n o g so what is this this is nothing but mango this is nothing but mango this is e l a p p it is nothing but apple apple this is n o r g a e it is orange and the last one e s o r is nothing but r o s e so from these four words you have to find the odd man out so if you could see this is mango apple and orange all these three are types of fruits and rose is the type of flower hence our answer will be rose so odd man out will be rose because rose is the flower whereas all three the remaining ones are fruits now again the question based on the earlier similar patterns if grain is to stock so stick is to what now how do we how will we be able to build up the relation between grain and stock so collection of grain collection of grain 
will be known as stock so collection of sticks will known as what so collection of sticks we know it is known as bundle so your answer will be option c bundle now this question was easy now yeah, focus on this one now here they have provided us one given set 6 13 22 and you have to check from the options 1 2 3 4 a b c d which of the following is the similar set you have to find similar set so for that what you have to do you have to build up the relation between 6 13 and 22 so yes if you could see 6 and 13 how is the relation 6 plus 7 is 13 6 plus 7 is 13 now 13 and here it is 22 so how can you build up the relation it can be 13 plus 9 13 plus 9 will be 22 so plus 7 plus 9 plus 7 plus 9 6 plus 7 13 and 13 plus 9 will be 22 so which is the set which will give us the same relation c if you focus here 11 18 and 27 so 11 plus 7 will be 18 and 18 plus 9 will be 27 so which is that similar set that similar set is 11 18 and 27 so here option a is the answer now have a look at this this is the question based on clock now let's try to read out the question and try to understand it If the minute hand and second hand of a clock are twenty minutes apart, what will be the angle between them? Now this question is quite sim uh, simple. If you see, the question is asking if the minute hand and hour hand are twenty minutes apart, then what is the angle between them? Now we know that if both the hands of a clock are five minutes apart, if they are five minutes apart, so they will have the angle of thirty degree in between them. So it becomes very simple. if they are 20 minutes apart so what will be the angle between them so 5 to 20 it will be into 4 so naturally 30 into 4 that will be 120 120 degree so option b is the answer 120 degree when the minutes hand and hour hand of a clock are 20 minutes apart the angle between them will be 120 degree 120 degree is the answer now try to understand this tiff is to coral so frugal is to what now what do you mean we know that we know generally the meaning of coral now what do you mean by tiff tiff is nothing but the synonym of coral tiff is nothing but the synonym of coral now if tiff is to coral so frugal is to now i can remember the options so i can directly tell you the answer so i don't remember all the options that were given in the exam but yes i can remember the answer option so i can tell you here frugal directly the answer so frugal is to miserly frugal is to miserly so frugal and the word miserly they both share they both share the same meaning they are synonyms of each other so if tiff is to coral so frugal is to miserly so that will be our answer now if the day before yesterday was monday what day will fall on the day after tomorrow now see if this is today and they are saying day before yesterday so this is yesterday and this is day before yesterday so this was monday day before yesterday was monday so yesterday will be tuesday and today will be wednesday if today will be wednesday they are asking day after tomorrow so this will be tomorrow tomorrow will be thursday and day after tomorrow will naturally be friday so our answer will be option c friday will be the answer let's try to understand this again you have to find here odd man out now few words are given epicenter seismology focus crater and richer scale these five words are given now if you see these five words out of that one word is odd that means four word form a group they belong to certain group now which is that word which is odd now if you see what is epicenter now see epicenter focus seismology and richer scale all these four words 
they are related to earthquake they are related to earthquake now if any earthquake occurs if any earthquake occurs so in so the point where earthquake occurs that point is known inside the earth that is known as focus and the point on the surface of the earth where the earthquake from the from which point it starts traveling so that point is known as epicenter what is richer scale richer scale is used to measure the magnitude of earthquake richer scale is used to measure the magnitude of earth earthquake now what is seismology seismology is nothing but the study study regarding earthquake seismology is nothing but study regarding earthquake so we see all these words epicenter seismology focus and richer scale they all are related to earthquake somehow but the word crater is not at all related to earthquake what do you mean by crater see crater is related to volcano volcano it is not related to earthquake see if it is a uh, if it is a, sorry if it is a dome shape so if this is earth and volcano comes out from this part and it starts pouring in all direction so what happens this top will come out and this top will get thrown uh, top part will get thrown away and one round crater portion will will start forming here so that round portion is known as the crater crater the deep hollow portion at the top is known as crater it is related to volcano volcano and not earthquake hence our answer will be crater crater will be our answer now again this is the question from blood relation now if rahul's father is sham's mother's son how is sham related to rahul now let's try to understand this with the help of tree diagram say if this is sham if this is sham so they are saying Sham's mother's son. Let's focus on this. So Sham's mother, I can place here. Sham's mother. Sham's mother will be here. Now Sham's mother's son. Now Sham's mother's son can be Sham itself, or that son can be the brother of Ra brother of Sham. That son can be brother of Sham. So two possibilities are there. Sham's mother's son. This son can be Sham itself, Sham himself, or the brother of Sham. Now, which possibility to be considered here? Now, see, as they have not mentioned very clearly, but we will go by certain reference. They have not mentioned here Sham's mother's only son. उन्होंने ऐसा नहीं कहा है कि Sham's mother's only son. अगर उन्होंने कहा होता कि Sham's mother's only son, then that son would have been Sham itself, Sham himself. But they have not mentioned since they have not mentioned the word only, so we will go by the ref, uh, by the inference that it is not Sham, it is his brother because they have not mentioned only son. So that means that son is his brother, Sham's brother. That son is Sham's brother. So what is the relation of that son? That son is Rahul's father. That son is nothing but Rahul's father. So this one is the son of mother. and this son is nothing but rahul's father if this is rahul's father so naturally rahul will come here rahul will come over here now they have asked how is sham related to rahul so if these two are brothers sham and this mother's son they are brothers so how is rahul related to sham so naturally how is rahul related to sham uh, sorry how is sham related to rahul so naturally sham will be uncle because this brother will be the father and sham will be the uncle sham will be the uncle so option a will be the answer option a will be the answer now focus on this one again now here if pledge is to f h e f k q so in the same manner import is to what import is to what now here we have to see how the relation is built up between the first group of letters and the second group of letters if you see focus on this last letter and the first letter over here so this will be nothing but plus 1 e plus 1 is f see this g plus 1 is again h this is d plus 1 is again e 
then e plus 1 is f l it is not m here so it is not plus 1 so before l you will get k so that will be minus 1 minus 1 and then after p you have q so again this will be plus 1 so you see only in this relation we have minus 1 letter in all the other relation we have plus 1 plus 1 letter so how i can make here so this will be t plus 1 t plus 1 will be this will be u then r plus 1 r plus 1 will be s then again i will have o plus 1 o plus 1 is o plus 1 letter will be p then i will have p plus 1 letter plus 1 letter will be added over here p plus 1 will be q now this letter it will not be plus 1 as you can see here l was not plus 1 it was minus 1 so this m will share the relation of minus 1 letter so before m before m will be l before m will be l and now the last i so again that will share the relation of plus 1 so i plus 1 that will be j so our answer will be u s p q l j that will be our final answer u s p q l j now let's focus on this question this is the last question now this is the number series now just try to understand the relation 22 21 23 23 24 23 and question mark so now how will be the relation this 23 is repeated here this 23 is repeated unnecessarily okay now let's try to build up the relation see 22 21 how it is 22 to 21 it is minus 1 22 minus 1 is 21 21 to 23 how the relation is built up it is 21 plus 2 21 plus 2 and now 23 to 24 how can the relation be built up 23 plus 1 23 plus 1 now this is the group actually that is being formed minus 1 plus 2 plus 1 now this series will be repeated the series of the different series will be repeated here so after this again see again you will have 24 to 23 so that will be again minus 1 24 minus 1 is 23 so naturally after minus 1 you'll you'll be getting the difference of plus 2 will be there here you will have plus 2 so 23 plus 2 that will be 25 hence option a will be the answer option a will be the answer so that was all about the questions which i remembered and i tried to just let you know about the solutions now as we are done with the questions now let's focus on the overall analysis of this paper now as you can see that in this paper there was no puzzle question asked not even a single question from puzzle that was asked so this is one very special uh, one very special thing about it the second thing is the sitting arrangement was very easy it was very very easy to be precise we can say that overall the overall logic was very easy it was asked at the very easiest level now blood relation questions they were asked now blood relation question they were asked from the third type only only third type blood relation questions were asked that means some person is giving information about the second person and the relation of the two persons is asked so that is the third type of blood relation so only that type of questions were asked now overall we can say the paper was easy now what were the topics that were precisely covered so analogy coding decoding alphabet test number and letter series so these are the topics from where questions were framed and comparatively they were easy now as you can see few questions were repeated now see uh, in five years in slot two one question was there in coding decoding related to gandhiji so the same question same question was put in third year three law three years exam also so so some repetition of questions was definitely there now based on the memory i can say that overall the question level was quite easy and hence we can say naturally on the basis of this i can conclude that the question if the question and the overall paper if it was easy so naturally the cutoff will surely go high cutoff will surely go high so that was about the overall analysis of this paper now if you are preparing for 
law entrance 2023 or 2024 then we have online classes and live classes as well as classroom coaching classes too at Mumbai for classroom coaching classes we have our branches at Borivili, Vasai and Dada. Feel free to contact us at this number if you want to, want to join our classroom coaching or feel free to join us via this number if you want to join our classroom coaching and if you want to join our live and online classes then you can contact us at this number. Do visit our site www.manuveredu.com to get the more information. Also, do follow all, all social media handles for getting exam updates and notification. Now, as we all are connected through YouTube, so in the similar manner, you can also get in touch with us through our Facebook channel, Instagram and Telegram. To get connected with this, the link is provided in the description below. So, thank you. That's all for today about the analysis. See you in the next video.